welcome back. So one of our new projects is a new bed. Uh, ours is going on 10 years now. So we decided to get a new bed. Um, we're going to do latex. I ordered two separate pieces and we're going to glue them together and use our old mattress as the uh, pattern for the new one. So what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to unroll them. They all came, they came in the mail. They both are compressed. So I'm going to undo them. Let them sit here. Today's Friday. Tomorrow we are, we have a swap meet in the morning at the marina. And then after that, we're going to come back here and get a new mattress. This is Talale 3 inch medium. You can see it's pretty springy. And this is Dunlop Firm. So we're gonna laminate these together and then cut them out. This is the same stuff we put the headliner up with. itself and then just kind of roll it down. It doesn't seem like you No. I don't really go way too far. You just got fans spray. You gotta do that way though, huh? This side actually glued together really good. Okay. We used the better glue. Okay, give it a little job. <laughs> Alright, so this is what we got. This is what we had existing. We had this mattress made nine years ago or whatever. Um, it's alright. It's not very comfortable. And the memory foam is kind of collapsing. It's six inches thick, it's like two on four uh, latex and two inches of memory foam on top of that. Um, lately, it's, we've been suffering with back aches, so that's why we're building a new bed. But it's, I had to make a paper pattern for them to cut this foam, and it's like mitered to shape the hull, the shape of the hull. On these two legs. On these two sides. And then there's a middle removable inset. Um, I think those cuts will be easy, it's just the side ones. They're yeah, no, it's just these, these weird angles down the edge. So we debated off camera about how to cut this and pattern it and lay it out correctly and I think uh, I think we came up with a plan here. So we're going to trace this out in the inverse upside down and then we're going to freehand carve the bevel. And the bevel only comes down this side from the shoulders down from here to here. So should be able to freehand it okay. It looks like not quite a 45 degree angle and then it flattens out a little vertical, so that ought to be interesting. Um, we'll try and cut it a little fat so that it stuffs tight into the cushion liners the, or the covers that we have. So anyway, here's our four inches of latex on two inches of memory foam and we're going to try this now. There's our rebirth mattress. So, just for reference, this is a king size mattress, just a standard king. Um, and I just ordered it online from Latex Mattress Factory in Arizona. Um, I had a question, I asked them, they emailed me really quickly. And then when I ordered it, it was shipped out the next day FedEx and I got it like two days later, really fast. So, anyway, shout out to them. Okay. All right, let's see how this cuts because this foam is kind of sticky. So I don't know how it's going to slide with this chips off. Oh, okay. 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 Okay.
my vacuum out. I'm trying to eyeball how to carve this thing at an angle and kind of follow the sculpt of the boat. I think once we stuff it into the cushion cover, that's going to make up a lot. You think it's that much? I think it's going to end up being like, yeah, like this. Okay. Because it lays. So this is the width of it here. Is that about right? It's pretty close. Better? How close to my line am I? Ha! You got a little chunk out of right there. Oh wow, that's pretty chunky that's there. That's gnarly looking. That's so terrible. Yeah, this soft, the uh, super soft foam on top. It's medium, it's not super soft. Oh. You know, it's not, I mean, you're not going to be able to tell once you're no, shoving it in there. No, it'll pucker up. I think it looks like a rat. Plus it's going to be, chew. it's going to be mashed up against the freaking bulkhead. See, making the bed is a bit of a process. <laughs> I wish I knew somebody with a sewing machine that could make us some fitted sheets that fit a triangular-shaped bed. We could hire somebody to do that. Yeah, I'll look in the classified ads of the penny saver. I'm happy. Yeah, it feels a lot com more comfortable to me. I don't I feel think like so. I'm sinking. I don't feel like a big gaping hole right here. Yeah. Our, that foam really broke down on our old mattress that we took out of those covers. It was just deteriorated. It well, just had the, no more and support. And then the memory foam we had on, on top of the memory foam was all ripped apart. So we did three inches of Dunlop latex, three inches of Talalay latex, and glued them together. The only thing I didn't realize was that it's going to be so messy. I mean, that stuff was everywhere. Rich had, Crumbs. Rich had to throw out his socks because he couldn't get it off. Yeah. Like we vacuumed. I was vacuuming my shirt and it wouldn't come off. I vacuumed his socks. We couldn't get it off. It came off the cushion covers okay. Just fine. Um, and then it was all over the floor. I mean, on the floor. It was just everywhere. On the refrigerator. It was on the refrigerator. It stuck to the stainless steel like static yeah. cling. It was so terrible. I had to vacuum the refrigerator door. But um, it was a, it was just really a lot messier than I thought it was going to be. I think the perforated mattress is going to breathe better too. They're supposed to be a lot cooler. Yeah. These mattresses. Cooler in the summer so, and probably not. It won't condense or cause sweat or anything like that to mildew. Yeah. And I think the only thing I think we need is a mattress cover so that we don't feel kind of, we can kind of feel the gap like this, the, where the cushions come yeah, together. Yeah, where is it? Right, right yeah. here. The, I mean, it doesn't, the I don't wedge. feel it like on my back, but I can feel it when I put my hand down yeah so if I I was thinking maybe I would buy like a king size quilted mattress pad cover and then just take apart the, the outside skirt and then cut it and then re-sew it so that it fits our mattress you know how to do that no but I'll figure it out <laughs> and then maybe I'll even make some custom sheets All right, so what else? So we're going to sleep on this tonight. Maybe we'll give you an update tomorrow morning we'll if we it, aren't too hideous to look at in the morning. See how it does. <laughs> so with the thickness, thickness of this, it's three inches of... <laughs> the thickness? How many thicknesses have you gone through? 
Go ahead. So uh, the mattress is six inches thick. It's three on three. And, uh, with the Froley underneath. With the Froley underneath. Our old, I think the V came with, uh, when we bought the boat, the V came with like a two inch little foam. Mm-hmm. Gross. It's like it a sleeping just, bag. It was pad. wet. Yeah, it, was, it, had been, it had gotten wet from the leaky uh, upper hatch above us. But uh, these doors, these locker doors wouldn't even tilt down enough to be able to get into them. Now you can get into them. So that'll be pretty good. A um, little better access. The, it's not just so many layers. of. It seemed like it was easier to make. Yeah, the bed was a lot easier to make. Bringing it on and off the boat, it was just flopping like a wet noodle. Yeah, it's um, really floppy. Yeah, I'm surprised a little yeah. bit by that. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, but it uh, uh, pulling it up and getting the fitted sheet hooked over the bottom end of the mattress was uh, it seemed like a lot easier to make the bed. Yeah. All in all, it feels really firm. Um, even we got medium topper, medium on the topper, firm and then base. firm on the Dunlop. And where'd you get it? Uh, latex mattress factory in Arizona. I okay. just found, Googled it and found a place and they were super quick. To yeah. Respond. Dude, shipping was, but so shipping was two days, free next day. Yeah. And it was free. Wow. Yeah. Well, I mean, Shh, don't tell I, everybody. I think the, both of them were like 400 bucks each. So we paid like 800 bucks All right. and then free shipping. All right. So what do you think? Night one. I'd say it was pretty good. I say it's a major improvement over yeah. what we were sleeping on. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's just the springiness of the foam degrades over time. And that's why we. Well, this isn't foam either. This is latex, so it's a lot. It's actually a lot springier. Yeah. Than foam. It's rubber. Yeah. So it feels springier to me. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's good. We are well rested. Thumbs up. Anything else? <laughs> no.